Hi, my name is Ron Chirillo. We are here in Taos, New Mexico, and I build airships. I'm the lead instructor for an academy that we started last fall. I currently have 30 students from all over the world, and I am teaching them ground up construction skills. The site that we're, we're building on is within the Greater World Earthship community. It's a 633 acre community that will eventually have 130 earthships built on it. Uh, this here is somewhere right around 65 of the 130 eventually will be built. Um, this is the latest design drawn up by Mr. Michael Reynolds, the architect and founder of earthships. And what makes these buildings special, well, first of all, they're off the grid. They're self-sufficient and they're an autonomous design. So what that means is that they take care of all their own needs and take care of us at the same time. They catch the water from the sky through rain, dew, and snow melt. After the water's already been used, it goes into a gray water botanical treatment cell. The gray water, it's cleaned up by the plants and also running on a recirculation system underneath the planter. That water is picked up and it's used for toilet flushing. Um, one of the biggest problems that we have on, on this planet is that we're, we're contaminating our water and 40% of the water that's used in all conventional homes is for flushing your toilet. Well, we're using gray water that's already been used in our washing machines, in our showers, at our sinks. And so once the water is used and now used for flushing, it goes into a septic system and then an exterior black water treatment cell. So we take our water from the sky and we multiply it by four times. So when you only have eight inches of annual precipitation in this climate, uh, we can turn it into 32 inches. The home also generates all its own electricity. So you can have everything that you're used to having in a conventional home, even though you're in a sustainable home. The home uses passive solar for heating and cooling. We are no longer dependent on fossil fuels. We don't need air conditioning units. We don't need to burn wood or burn propane or burn any fossil fuel for that matter. Uh, we, we don't depend on any outside energy sources whatsoever. We use the Earth's natural resources to provide the perfect temperature that we all thrive to have. The one thing that we're still working towards is food production. So we've been looking heavily into aquaponics, uh, developing into permaculture. We've been looking at building earthship greenhouses that have that perfect temperature that the home itself has, but now it's also providing the perfect temperature for all year round food production, even in this harsh climate. Well, first off, my dad's kind of like one of the best people I'd want to learn from because He's just a workhorse and he's constantly doing something, constantly making a difference, constantly putting everything he has into Earthship Biotexture. It's become his life. He eats, sleeps, and breathes Earthships, that's for sure. And I've never met someone as old as he is with his charisma and with his energy and with his drive. Like, I don't think he'll ever stop. I think he'll die with a sledgehammer in his hand. And that's just the type of guy that he is. And I am in love with where I am in life right now. I am so excited to be building side by side with my dad. Both of us doing this, like he's very excited to have me here. He's very excited for me to form my life around this and to be his prodigy, you could say. And especially with where he is now, I can only imagine where we're gonna be in a few years because this is only getting bigger and bigger. I was fortunate in my late 30s to, for whatever reasons, the universe lined up and said, hey Ron, you know, you've been a consumer all your life. You have been, you know, extracting the, the planet's resources to the maximum. Now I realize because life is short and my son and my sisters and my mom and my family that I want to be able to show them it's not about you know how how much money I'm gonna make and how much how rich I am I don't want to be the richest man in the graveyard I want to be the guy who is left behind you know an amazing effort and that effort is teaching students and 
advocating for the sustainable off-the-grid lifestyle. I feel good about it. I can't wait to get out of bed in the morning. I mean, I just jump out of bed because I know what I'm doing is the best thing I can do. I'm at an age now at this point in my life where I can influence people. I've got experience. You know, I've got the passion. I've got the drive. You know, I love this planet. We need to leave behind a better world when we leave. Not less, not destruction. This is what this is all part of. And that's what I love about it. <laughs>